Would you believe me if I said that I have played the Isle of the Sacred Mountain twice already? On both times, I did not record, or it did not record, the entire thing. Like, twice. I've drawn out the maps for both levels of the catacombs, the whole thing, twice. We're going to play the Isle of the Sacred Mountain again. And I'll probably move through really quickly through this. Because I literally just finished playing and realized it never, I never pressed record. You know, <laughs> learning process, but um, I can't believe I have to play it again. <laughs> but I refuse to give up on it. I like this level. I like this island because I got to draw maps. So, um, I guess we're doing this again. So let's get to the top of the hill. Hello. Alexander finds himself finally at the top of the cliffs. Exhausted, he steps over the lip of the plateau and stands. Hello. Why do you make such an effort to climb the cliffs, young man? The winged ones who live on this island have the power of flight. Mm -hmm. You could have it too, if you'd only eat a berry from this magical flying nightshade bush. Nightshade, you say? Why, that doesn't kill people at all. I think that may have See? done something to you. The sweet berries will make you float like a petal on the wind. Hi, Try you some. Well, alright, since you ox so nicely, I guess I can, like, you know, this hurts me. <laughs> but I'm gonna fall for this for the third time tonight. <laughs> I can't believe it! Alright. <clears throat> Yes, why I will have one All of your right. berries. I'll try some of your berries. Mm-hmm. Oh goody. Eat quickly, dear boy, and I'll show you the way to the Lord and Lady of this Isle. Sure. What <laughs> slightly bitter, pretty one? Yes, they are indeed. Next. And then there's some land I have for sale on the Death Bogs of Tamir. <laughs> yes, because we're so gullible. We will just eat berries of nightshade that will make us fly. Well. It's been nice, but, um. Honey, I'm just gonna ignore you. No, I never get to hear that dialogue. I keep skipping it. <laughs> we'll just wait. Young man, you offend me. Mm -hmm. I try to help you and you insist on being rude. Yes, because I don't want to listen to old weird ladies at the top of hills telling me to eat nightshade. to the ground like a load of lead. See if I care. You, 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 human. Human. How odd. The old woman just disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Poof, poof. Perhaps those berries are even more powerful than she led Alexander to believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, all right, so in game, right, Alexander, like, you do realize and you see the puff of smoke and you've kind of put two and two together, right? Like, you, like it's occurred to you, right? <laughs> I just wonder sometimes about this boy. Poor child. Alexander crawls through the small opening in the rock. So, I don't know if this would occur Alexander to most people. Alexander finds himself in a dark cave. To, like, crawl past the nightshade into this hole. 
but I guess you would like look and maybe by accident you would realize hey this is a cave and hey maybe I can crawl through it but I don't know if you like necessarily would have like it would have occurred to you to do you know what I mean Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it but um I guess you know Alexander crawls through the opening in the rock how small are these openings in the rock like okay I've been in caves right the lighting in this part of the cave is better Alexander extinguishes the candle's flame and places it back in his pack. Like, I've been in caves. Like, there's a cave that, I've, like, you, you just walk in, but then it gets instantly narrow. And I don't know how much further you can actually get into that cave because it's, it just gets instantly narrow at the back of it. So it's more like a hole, right? You don't just go into caves like that. I mean, it's not a good idea. You don't know you'll get stuck <laughs> Alexander takes a few leaves from the plant as he does so a strong smell of peppermint is released ha. Ah. well see the pawn shop owner said he was out of mints because somebody's been eating them all so I guess this allows us to get some mint a for that natural particular window like someone. opening in the rock provides a view to the outside world a peppermint plant grows on the window's ledge. Like this seems like a very out of the way little detour. Alexander doesn't need to use that to like navigate to. You Alexander know. Alexander crawls back into the first room of the cave. Like it's literally a secret, and I only Alexander knew. Alexander can't see a thing. I only know the secret exists because I did a walkthrough before. Alexander I takes the candle from his tinder box before. and uses the flint in the box to light it. But it seems like a really weird out, out there sort of thing to do. Crawl into a cave. Alexander crawls back through the passage to the top of the cliffs. So now that we've gotten that. We've avoided, you know, a third attempt at murder. Let's head this way. Oh! Look, an intruder! Uh, I'm just, like, visiting, oh. guys. How did you get up here, human? I climbed the hills. I climbed the cliffs. Yeah, I did that. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. And if the cliffs were to be solved, it would certainly not be by a human. Well, I had a booklet, and I, it told me I what to do. I didn't mean to trespass. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. Yeah. So no visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Oh. Not since the Red and White Queens had spies in the guise of friendly visitors steal our island's sacred golden fleece. Oh, really? But we will not display such foolish trust again. You will have to answer to Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done with you. I can assure you, it will not be pleasant. Oh well. I guess we'll have to deal. Well, so that's like the next person. So the queens got their singing stones stolen by the beasts. These guys got their golden fleece stolen by the queens. I guess the beast probably got something stolen from winged With what ones. what trickery did you master the cliffs of logic and reach the city of the winged ones? It's called a brain, but also Only a Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. I meant no harm. The cliffs of logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Yes, Ariel. Is it a prophecy? Hmm. It is lucky for you, human, that climbing the Cliffs of Logic is part of a prophecy that I cannot ignore. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. We have just been ordered by Wazir Al-Hazred himself to oh, dispose really? of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. Oh. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. You're saying he has a hit out on my head? The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the Cliffs of Logic will defeat the Minotaur. Oh, really? <laughs> the Minotaur oh, wow. has violated our sacred catacombs and eats our young in sacrifice. <gasps> our own daughter, Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning, 
as his most recently demanded offering. Oh, that's tragic. A dilemma, then. Whom shall I obey in regards to your fate? The hmm. Oracle or the Crown? Well, but since I mean... Alhazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, Wait, your yo. imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. I mean, I just did Eclipse of Logic. Does I will prove? not resist you in this, my lord. I shall do my best to save your daughter. Yes. Hmm. We got a white knight. First, I must tell you that the catacombs are a labyrinth of rooms, a place of exceeding danger. You will need many tools and clear wits to survive it. Yeah, I got this. I am ready. I've literally well. drawn him up twice. So. My guards will take you there now. You seem courageous enough, but the catacombs will determine how brave you really are. Bring it on. I mean, for real, like, I got this, don't worry. I love that they managed to do that with just so few pixels. Just like a few little colors moving on the screen. Hello? Ah, yes. Why did you tell Lord Azure you were ready and willing to face the catacombs? Because no one is ever ready, and only a fool could be willing. Well. And you are far wiser, I suppose, to leave a maiden to die? Yeah. To not fight this plague on your own people? Yeah. Bravery and suicide are two different things, human. Well, I you will have a chance to renounce your choice soon enough when you lay trembling under the Minotaur's hooves. Mm. We shall see. Thanks for the escort. And the advice, which we is only escort to you to your death. May the fates make it quick so that you do not have to scream long. <laughs> That's nice of you. Like, for real, yo. No, no, will you? Smart as you all are, could have figured out how to deal with this minotaur. The catacomb's entrance door is locked from the outside by the winged one's guards. It seems that leaving the catacombs by that door is not an option. Well, you know what they say. If you think you don't need to learn anymore, you never do. So, you know, ignorance is bliss. So, seeing that I've literally drawn this map out twice, but I still want to draw it again. Because I enjoy that process. We're going to draw it again. It's just that we'll draw it quicker this time. That's all. So, and I'm not so scared as I was the first time, which was literally me just like crying and weeping. <laughs> I mean, the first time I did this, to be honest, um, the first, first time I ever encountered the, the catacombs, I was following a walkthrough. So I, I just followed exactly where they told me to go. I didn't try looking at the other rooms. I just like did the straight path. But the last two times that I played this and didn't record it, I drew it out. I wanted to explore it because I really like drawing out maps. <laughs> you know? It's like part of it uh -oh, that you don't get to do. Because this game has so much time involved, right? Like there's, you have to like enter room, wait, kind of so much space and time. You get to... I am drawing on every room, right? Um, you really get to like try. Oh my God, I didn't save. As he walks through the doorway, Alexander gets a very bad feeling about this room. Don't just wonder, Alexander. Let your conscience be your guide. I didn't save. <laughs> when was the last time I saved? Oh my god. Alright, that's fine. The good thing is, you can skip really quickly. So, fine. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm doing this so many times. I have literally sat in front of these bastards so long. Hold! How did you? You guys should just trust me. I know what I'm doing. Okay, this is the third time I'm doing this. <laughs> I can't believe this. All right, so maybe you can't cut all. You can't skip all of the scenes, but you can skip With a lot of the trickery, talking. Did you? I am ready. Very well. I'm ready, yo. I'm ready. And we're back. <laughs> like, you can't skip the animation. But I can speed it up. Lord Azure, you. Okay, cool, thanks. Alright. The catacomb. Now that we're here. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna use this room. Okay, so we all went all the way across and there's a good few dead ends, but there are also rooms like the one that we just fell into that are literal just traps that are just straight to your doom death. Um so I don't know if I'll fall into each and every one of those, but you know. We're gonna go back this way anyway because I have a map to draw, okay? And I'm probably going to like draw it up so that um, you guys can see what I'm seeing, basically, or what I'm drawing. This is the third time that I'm doing this, but it's okay. So that one's the trap one. So now we're going up here. It's a corridor. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, I think this is a room. A loop? Is this a loop? Yes, it's a loop. So what I was saying was, um, like, this game gives you a maze and you have the opportunity to actually walk through each room in it. Oh my god. Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. <gasps> Let me go. Okay, so yeah, every so often that minute to a sound effect please and it makes me jump every single time. Okay. So we'll go back to the starting point. So here's the start. Okay. Alright. Um, but I like having the time to like walk around like this. You know, it's um one it kind of builds, right? Because it's it's very repetitive, like it's but it does give you that feeling of like, oh yeah, if I was walking around in catacombs, this is literally it. It's just you and the darkness and the silence and minotaurs apparently <laughs> in the background of you just like wandering around. Who lights the torches? I guess they said. All right, so down Alexander here. Alexander hears a low growling. So faint as to seem born of his fired imagination rather than of any living creature. Down here is a death trap. So we're not gonna go down there. We're gonna go up here. Aha. Right. So there is a lonely little skull here. The remains of several unfortunate souls haunt the room. These bones seem more recent than the ancient catacomb bones that Alexander has seen so far. Perhaps they were victims of the Minotaur, or perhaps they died while wandering lost in the maze. Three of the skeletons are completely intact. Okay, but this one... Alexander picks up the skull. Awesome. We need that skull for our spell ingredient. So we go back. 
So here's, here's a fun room, <laughs> here's a fun room, um, so you know those like pressure weight traps from, I don't know, Indiana Jones or the mummy or something? Yeah, that's what this room is. And basically, the first time I played this, the second time around, like the first time, um, I forgot there was a riddle involved with this room, and I just clicked on this. Alexander feels the tile he's standing on shift beneath his feet. And died. Uh-oh! There we go. I mean, they even put blood. Wow, guys, come on. That was painful. Ticket over. Next. Three spikes and you're out. <laughs> Literally. Yes, yes, you're very clever. Very clever indeed. Right? Until I went and I found the riddle. So now we know what to do. So here's the riddle. Three roses laid upon the bower. A scythe for he who cuts the flower. A crown, a dove, most noble race. Thy bones make sacred this dread place. So, this obviously is not to be touched yet. Up here though, we can. So, one, two, three. Three roses laid upon the bow. A scythe for he who cuts the flower. A, that's a crown. A crown. And I guess if that's the same as this one, a dove. Most noble race. And thy bones make sacred this dread place. Excellent. We got through. Isn't that just fun? Like, you actually have to like read a riddle and solve a clue. I love this. <laughs> I love this death maze. Uh, and no pressure, there's like nothing chasing us. It's just, you know, uh, I think nothing's chasing us anyway. I've never actually seen the Minotaur catch you. So I don't think the Minotaur actually catches you. I think it's literally just, um, it's just from, you're just hearing it as a sound effect for like, to, to creep you out. Oh. Oh, hello. Ooh, twinkly eyes. Ah, you are human only and not the monster himself. I heard you coming and thought you were the beast. Oh, did you did? Did my father send you here to save me? Yeah. Why, yes he did, but how did you... Hush, there is no time. I think I have discovered the Minotaur's secret exit from the catacombs. Follow me and we'll both be saved. I mean, sure. We should totally follow the girl out randomly. Oh no, you know what? I already, like... We should totally follow her. Like, why not? We should we should trust anybody with a glinty eye if we want a death sequence. That's odd. Where did she go? <laughs> I still love to hear him say that, so I do it every time. <laughs> go. And she has like the most dead voice. Hush! I think I found the way to the exit. Oh! <gasps> like, dude. Next. Work on that voice. Don't just wonder, Alexander. Yes, yes, yes. Well, very nice of you. But I, I know what I'm doing. I, I wanted to die. <laughs> Aha! A shield. That may be useful. Alexander takes the shield from the wall. Let's go. Got a shield. Probably gonna be important. These rats, though. Like, y'all gonna need some cats in this place or something. Alright. So, I'm gonna go Somewhere up first. Somewhere far off into the catacombs, 
the sounds of hooves faintly echo. Okay, okay, okay. Stop freaking me out. Alright. I'm gonna go up first. This is chill, this is chill. What was that? <gasps> ah! Something glinting. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. He takes the old coins. Why, thank you. Oh, I thought something was gonna happen. Because the music did a weird, like, pause. <laughs> well, yes. So, it's really nice being able to, like, just wander through these very calmly, you know, in the darkness. And, like, just slowly figure out the puzzle as you go. Oh! It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. And the ceiling is coming down. <gasps> oh, no! Whatever shall we do? Let's save. Actually, where did we where did we save before? We should probably save. I want to save it on the item room. I want to see the death scene for this because I didn't actually see it before. So, like, I love the framing of this. Like, look at the artwork for this. This is like, it's got two skulls on either side. You know, this one's got like a cool tongue sword thing happening. This guy's got a helmet. This one's got a cloak. This wall, this, this ceiling takes a really long time to like... With a sudden lurch, <gasps> the oh. ceiling completes its Spoke descent. Oh no. Oh! Oh Yikes. my god! And presses Alexander into the floor like a bug under a heel. Whoa! Ooh! Gross! <laughs> wow, that's graphic, man! Tickets! Oh! Next! Dang! Alexander never was much good at squash. I'm so glad that I got to play to it just so that I could find that death. <laughs> wow. Squash. Why didn't you see something with squish? But okay, yeah, like squash. I get it. Anyway, so what you're supposed to do in this room is throw the random brick that we got from the Isle of Beasts into the gears. Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. I mean, luck would the have mechanism it. mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. Neat. Could you imagine if he did that, the gears stuck, the ceiling stopped, everything was cool, but the doors didn't open? My dude would be stuck in there. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> I'd be- I feel sad. You know what I mean? Like, yo. Boy. How are you gonna get out of here? <laughs> you just die inside of that room. Nobody else would be able to get in either. Oh, this was a dead end. My bad. Oops. Dude, Minotaur, like, chill. Alexander hears the distant sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. <laughs> Chillax, man. Alright. Let us save. Because I don't know if I saved before I, after I left there. So, let's save here. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Sounds! A trap floor! E gods! Zoinks! Ooh. Honey, are you okay? Was that a 
Was that a fall? Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. Oh dear. Yes, I see you, honey. Um, check for broken bones. I don't know how long that fall was. Er, I think we need this guy. Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Aha! So that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. Uh -huh. Lucky for us. Alexander lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinderbox away. Alright, so we're going to stop here. And in the next video, we'll explore the lower level of the catacombs. And see if we can find this one at all.